Meantime, a large coordinated search effort for an 18-year-old man who was last seen leaving a friend's New Year's Eve party. Fox 17's Michael Martin is joining us after being out with those search parties all afternoon. Michael? Yeah, Annie, Doug, as police continue their investigation through interviews and search warrants, family and friends of Hunter out in full force today looking for something, anything that tells them just what happened to the man they love so dearly. I feel terrible for the family. I mean, I know that they would like answers. We would like to give them answers just as quickly as we can. Out on foot and on horseback, equipped with binoculars and metal detectors, hundreds of volunteers met Tuesday afternoon to try and find some of those answers. I pray that you would give us the ability to complete what we need to complete today. 18-year-old Hunter Klomstro was last seen leaving a New Year's Eve party at a friend's house in Coopersville. At some point in the night, he left on foot, but where he ended up? Well, that's the question that everyone's looking to solve. We were asked um, if anybody, friends of mine, if we had horses and if we would help search um, for the hunter's um, cell phone. So that's what we're here to do. You know, it's not a nice feeling to not know where someone's at. Go slow and just pay attention to everything. Among those in attendance Tuesday was Kathy Geib. Her son Todd disappeared out of Muskegon about 10 years ago. We know what it's like to go through it, and you're like in a, you're not in your no, normal mental state. So to plan and do all this, we just thought we'd get here early and pitch in where we can. The volunteers searching desperately for Hunter's cell phone and a small black knife that his family says he may have had on him. Property owner Mary Moderman was more than happy to accommodate the large search party. Well, I have kids, and I know what it would feel like if I couldn't put my finger on them. So... I'm a mom. Police have been busy behind the scenes, working to see what they can learn from Hunter's social media accounts. We feel we have cooperation of the people involved at this point. Um, we feel that uh, we're getting our questions answered from the people that had last uh, been in contact with him. We'll continue to work through that. And then it's just a, um, a matter of continuing the search uh, for him. So again, this search today, not organized by police, but by friends and family of Hunter, though we did, as you saw in that story, speak to police. They, they tell us that they were actually out in this area yesterday with dogs, trying to pick up any sort of scent they could, as well as working on a strategy for moving forward with their ground searches. Captain Mark Bennett with the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office telling me they really want to get divers into a small body of water that's in this area not able to do that yet because of the weather conditions say they're just waiting now for a window where that's possible for now live in ottawa county michael martin fox 17 news